Welcome to Teltech Services training videos. This video will discuss mailbox administration using the Call Pilot Manager. The video assumes that you already know how to get to the Call Pilot Manager and that you have the user ID and password required to log in. If this is not the case, please contact us. So from the main menu, we would select Mailbox Administration. This is a newly configured system with no mailboxes, so we have the, the system default mailboxes, General Delivery and System Manager. These are our system mailboxes and typically not used. In older implementations you may find that the general delivery mailbox is assigned to the receptionist at extension 221 or something different if, if, there, if that's been changed. But what we found is there's a lot of confusion with that. Uh, say the user at 225 has a message that needs to go to the receptionist. If they try and forward it through the voicemail system they have to remember to forward it to mailbox 100 instead of mailbox uh, 221 which is where that receptionist is sitting. So uh, we choose to disable the general delivery mailbox and give the person at the reception their own mailbox that matches their extension. So I'm going to uh, add a mailbox. Let's just say at uh, 221 we have uh, Bob Smith sitting there. We have a choice of subscriber or information mailbox. Subscriber is uh, a phone user or someone sitting at a phone that needs a mailbox. Information mailbox uh, comes more into play when you have an automated attendant but it is along the lines of this is our address, this is our fax number, this is our hours of business, that kind of thing. So for this case we'll select a subscriber mailbox and you can see that we have four left on this particular system. When I click on submit I have some more options to fill out. Again the extension is 221 and this is what I meant when I, we want this mailbox to match the extension. Uh, that's what I was getting at before. It just, it just makes things go much smoother. So the first name was Bob the last name is Smith. Where this uh, naming comes into play is when a user presses pound in your automated attendant to search the company directory. Uh, this is where the system looks for what they're spelling. So for instance if the user is trying to spell Bob Smith, for Bob they would start with two and then six and then two and the system is searching this first and last name looking for a match that will, will match up with the 262 that they've put in. Once it thinks it has a reasonable match, it'll present it to the caller and they can either be put through to that mailbox or select the next name that might, uh, might come close. Class of service is one and I would almost never change that without talking to us first. Uh, class of service one is, is uh, really set up with the most convenient options and, and settings for, for most users. Display in the directory just uh, determines whether or not Bob Smith will be presented in the company directory message waiting, whether uh, there's a web message waiting indicator on their phone. Uh, auto login you might be tempted to use uh, really what it is if that's enabled Bob could walk up to his phone enter feature 981 and be right into his mailbox without entering a password. Uh, we have found that can cause some problems because anybody can walk up to the phone then enter feature 981 and be right into that person's mailbox whether they're the actual user or not. So in fact I wouldn't change any of the other options besides the extension first name and last name. Once you click on submit, you'll see that uh, Bob is the new mailbox there. I'm just going to take a, a minute and quickly add a couple more. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added a couple more mailboxes there. This is pretty atypical of a, of a system, how it might look. Obviously, there may be more mailboxes on your system. So really, the two things that people uh, tend to want to come here and do are resetting passwords and adding or changing uh, mailboxes. So to reset a password, you simply find the, uh, let's just say Jane has locked up her password, she's made three attempts incorrectly, now the system says the mailbox is locked, it must be unlocked by the system administrator. I'm assuming that's you and that's why you're watching these videos. So we go to Jane Doe across the end of the line, click on reset the password, and it asks her for sure, sure we are. Uh, that mailbox has now been reset to four zeros or zero 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 zero. Jane can now log into her mailbox, enter the four zeros, the system will force her to enter a new password and she's back in business. The second thing uh, is people come and go or you, you add or remove users. Let's just say Brenda Brown has left the company and now we have a John White uh, that is sitting at that extension. Now there's a couple ways you could uh, go about fixing that. The one is to, uh, to give John Brenda's old, old password if you have it or resetting the password to four zeros and advising John to uh, enter four zeros and set the mailbox up. But the system doesn't know that, uh, that Brenda's gone, it just knows someone's trying to change it. And, and if uh, John doesn't have enough experience, he may not change all the things necessary to, to make the mailbox work right. So for instance, you have a spoken name and an outgoing message. Um, 
John may change the outgoing message but not know to change the spoken name so you have Brenda's spoken name with John's outgoing message or vice versa and that kind of thing so really what we found is is best to do is to uh, delete and reinstate that mailbox so um, the system administrator yourself would go to that 223 mailbox uh, make sure any messages that are in there that you want are taken off, written down, transcribed, or whatever. If you don't know the password, because Brenda left in a hurry, while well, you reset the password and do it that way. When you're done, delete the mailbox. Are you sure? And then go back and add one at the same extension. This time we'll say it's uh, John White. there it is. Now you might say that's a lot of work but the advantage to doing it this way is the the system treats it as a brand new mailbox so yes the password is reset to four zeros but the first time John logs into that mailbox it will walk him through setting up that mailbox in the proper manner in, in, including uh, recording a spoken name, recording an outgoing message and that kind of thing. Uh, that's really what we found to be the, the most effective way to add and remove uh, subscribers from a, or users on a, the system. So going down the, uh, the left here we have group lists, which again would uh, allow you to set up a, a group list number. So you'll have a mailbox number. Uh, and then Bob, Jane, and John, or whoever else could be members of that group list. And now you just have to enter that unique number, and that message would be sent to everybody who's a member of that list. So let's say the group list is 901. If you send a message to 901, then whoever's a member of that list gets that same message and allows you to, uh, to send to many people with, with it just by entering one number. And then finally for this video, we'll just cover briefly the class of service. Now again, we don't recommend that you go in here and make any adjustments, but I suspect you might, you might look at it and wonder, be tempted to, to change some of these things. So here you can change the, the maximum message time in a mailbox, um, the length in minutes, the retention period, how long, it's, uh, how long it's retained, the maximum greeting lengths, and those kinds of things. The one you might be tempted to look at is this password expiry, and you can see that it says uh, zero equals never expire. We strongly recommend you don't do that, uh, even though it's tempting because people get frustrated having to change their password. Uh, it really is a, a security thing. Voicemail systems are subject to hacking just like any other computer system. And if someone, if that password is, stays the same forever and forever and forever, it, it becomes easier to hack into your system. And once they do that, they can set this system up so it, they can set up an automatic transfer to a, a call in the Far East and then they sell that you sell your phone number and that password to everybody uh, that they know and you end up with a, a multi thousand dollar long distance bill so really it's our strong recommendation that you leave that set for 90 and the maximum correct password attempts at four which is the lowest possible if you have any questions about that give us a call we'll explain it further but uh, again if you're tempted to look in here and start to change things really talk to us first and we can at the very least advise you of the, the pros and cons of uh, changing any of these entries that's it for this, uh, this video. The next one will be on the automated attendant and then further after that custom call routing. Certainly if you have any questions, give us a call in the office, 403-543-6959. Thank you.